first rule is to create genes that go from one generation to another. If you don't have the genes, don't, don't worry. Make sure you have very, very good executives and make sure uh, the children become owners but not executives. Uh, I think that's a better combination. Getting uh, very good people around you, very entrepreneurial people around you uh, that agree with you, but I can also uh, sometimes guide you uh, into new ways of doing business or uh, new, uh, new ventures. Uh, also, it's, it's all, always better to have a vision than not to have a vision. Uh, if I had to choose between having a vision and being the best accountant in the world, I think you're going to be, have a vision. So groups need to know where they go uh, and they have to change very fast. I think the other part that is very important is that it's the responsibility of the older generation to also pass the, me the message along uh, that family values um, have to go beyond the home. I mean, family values at the end are what make a business into a family business. Um, and I think it's up to our parents to help us see um, how they have used these family values to run their business. And to some extent, uh, that's probably why we've been so successful. Be proactive. Form the family council as soon as possible. Have a structure, have a plan, take it very seriously. The family council is like a business unit and it has to, people in the family council have to behave as if they were in a business meeting. Follow up um, and do it early, I would say. Yeah, do it early and well. Uh, make sure that everybody is happy 